Hello, welcome and nice to see you there. Since everybody's here, we'll start right away. First, by comparing prices, availability and warranty all over the globe. Here we have variant prices of at least one country from each continent where prices are actually displayed. Also, in order to help compare countries with each others, there is prices after Canadian currency conversion. Now, while I was working on the Model X review, a new release from Tesla came out and as of 23 of August, which is yesterday, the P90D is no longer the most powerful Tesla offered. There is the new P100D. We'll compare both later in the motor and component department, which is episode 3. For now, about prices. The P100D is of course more expensive, but if you are already in the process of getting yourself a P90D, if yours is currently in production, you may upgrade to the P100D for 10,000 US dollars. If you have already received your P90D and would like to update your current battery to a 100 kilowatt hour battery, you may do that for 20,000 US dollars, assuming your battery already sustained wear and should need refurbishing. Make sure you ask when, how and how much will it cost you to get the P100D in your country. For once, prices seem as fair as they could get when comparing each country with each other. China is the place on earth where it usually feels like people pay their cars twice as expensive as anywhere else. It is true with the Porsche Macan and Jaguar F-Pace. But here it might be a different case with the Model X since prices for the Model X in Hong Kong and China are not displayed on the website. We'll be using the Model S prices in Hong Kong which should really give us an idea of how Teslas are priced in China. And here it seems as though there are no extra fees, at least not as shown on the website. Usually, China, they include about all extra fees and taxes in the MSRP price. So looking good for now. One more country caught everybody's attention lately. It's called Norway. Five million people live there. And apparently Tesla is the most selling car over there. Why is that? Well. Not for the reason you might have in mind, which you probably thinking is because people are crazy about new electric cars, which they probably are, but there's a better explanation for that. And BMW X6M has an MSRP of 2 million NOC, about 326,000 Canadian dollar. In Canada, it cost one third of that price. The Porsche Cayenne GTS. Mercedes GLE 63 AMG Coupe, the same thing. Honda CRV, twice as expensive. Toyota RAV4 Hybrid, same thing. Surprisingly, the Mini Cooper seems cheap, still more expensive than the one in Canada, but not by too much. Now, the Tesla Model X, as you can see, it's the same price as you would pay in Canada. And it's not just Tesla, the Nissan Leaf is treated the same way, which is so cool. Even the Prius, which once was the most favorite car of all time for green people, isn't that special in Norway. The reason why cars are more expensive is mostly due to import fees and taxes, which doesn't make sense to us. Electric cars in Norway, we are basically talking tax exemptions, but that's not all. Electric cars owner in Norway are very well treated. You get to drive on bus lanes, you get to charge for free, you get to park for free, you get ferry ways for free as well. Now we are used to government incentive, but what's in Norway is on another level. Anyway, depending on the country where you live, you fall in one of three categories. 
you either have official and full access to Tesla Model X, which means once you configure your car on the website, you are asked to choose between one of four delivery options, which typically are as soon as possible, late September, October, or November. This is like if you order today. Or depending on where you live, you may have limited access, which means you can still reserve a Tesla Model X, but you will be contacted as soon as a spot is available to take care of your order. No date nor confirmation is given to you at the time of reservation. The estimation date for any reservation made today or soon is only early half of 2017 which means next summer. About minimum one year of waiting time, which isn't that bad considering the waiting time on a Ferrari ranges between 6, 12 or 36 months. About up to three years of waiting time and for what? A sports car that isn't as fast as an electric family SUV. We certainly live in a new era where extra wealthy are starting to struggle having to get creative on how to differentiate from normal people. You know, today everyone can get a cell phone. Everyone can manage a mortgage on a Porsche 911. Everyone can actually find a way to enjoy vacation in the nicest place on earth. And now, thanks to Tesla, everyone can outrun a Ferrari. Just imagine a family of seven people, the dad with his beard, driving his wife next to him and all five kids making a mess in the back seats. Next to you, another man pulls up with his convertible Ferrari and his woman next to him. He looks at you kind of saying, Ha, oh, kids, I feel bad for you, mate. Thinking that as soon as the green light goes on, he'll be miles away from you. I would really want you to see his face when he realizes he can't keep up with the Model X. Too bad you will be too far gone before he has any chance to react and put his surprised, confused and angry face on. To be fair and square, you can only reach Ferrari speed territory with the most expensive P90D and P100D, adding what they call ludicrous speed upgrade. Still, the fact that you can is enough doesn't mean that you have to. By the way, the P100D is in Ferrari LaFerrari Porsche 918 McLaren P1 territory. Not as fast, but close. Really close. By the way, since the release of 23 August of 2016, the ludicrous speed upgrade is no longer available on the P90D and only as standard on the P100D. Don't think Tesla was aiming for a car that fast. I think they simply discovered along the way that the cars they were building were actually super car fast. Seriously, because the mechanic and engineering behind any Tesla's boring simple. The only problem that any car maker will face at that point is how to cope with tire wear and high speed stability. I guess the most common solution is wide tires and a mechanical spoiler. Anyway, moving on, third case scenario. Where you live, there is simply no official Tesla website nor any official Tesla shop. You either deal with a third party dealer who buys and ships Teslas from USA on his own or you travel to the closest Tesla shop located in the closest country near you. I would suggest to be patient and wait for an official Tesla source to provide you with Teslas because if you buy a Tesla that is shipped to your country from another country, warranty may not apply. In Europe, the actual claim is if you want to use warranty service, you have to bring the car back in the country you officially bought it from. In North America, though, it's different, tougher, I guess. Your warranty does not apply if your Tesla have been driven outside North America. That makes me wonder, can you go to Mexico and come back for a day or two? I guess so, but better ask and be sure. So you may consider buying from Europe and shipping to India, for instance, but not from North America. Also, if you live in a country where you don't have any official way to deal with Tesla, you may have to travel to the nearest approved Tesla dealer and take care of shipments on your own, which isn't bad, 
a lot of people use shipment containers every day. The only problem is, say you're in India, the actual nearest Tesla shop is in Hong Kong. So you'll have to pay Hong Kong expensive fees and taxes as well as import fees in India, which may very well become an out of hand price for your Tesla. Some countries like China and Korea, as of today, you are from category two. You cannot custom order your Model X on the website before placing and paying for your reservation. You usually can customize any Model S with no problem anywhere applicable. I am not aware of the exact reason why you absolutely have to place an order before you can get the, to customize your Model X. Sadly, as long as you don't send your money for reservation, which by the way is totally refundable, MSRP price as well as optional prices are not displayed to my knowledge. Some other country like India, South Africa and Ireland are in category 3. They don't have any official way to custom order or even reserve a Model X, let alone a Tesla. No dealer as well as no website available. You can see how Tesla is a work in progress. Good news is dealing with Tesla is easy. Everything can be found on their website. Very easy, especially compared to all other car manufacturers. It's like the main goal was to make it an online shopping friendly website. Everything you need to know about buying or leasing is well explained and detailed. They are straightforward. Now, when it comes to warranty, it's never as simple as it seems. There is always some stuff that aren't included sometimes, even if the base overall warranty is three years. Some component may be covered for five years, rust issues for eight years and so on. Also, some countries may offer extended warranty for an extra cost. Basically, whenever you are purchasing a car, any car, ask about warranty and carefully go through details just so you don't get any surprises later down the line. About Tesla warranty, it's simple. The battery and drive unit is covered for eight years or infinite mileage. Otherwise, it's four years or 80,000 kilometer, which is about 50,000 miles as a limited warranty. Did you get to hear about Tesla's master plans? Well, here's a summary. Build expensive sports car. Use that money to build affordable cars. Use that money to build even more affordable cars. While doing the above, also provide zero emission electric power generation options. Master plan number two, create stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage, expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments which includes trucks and buses, develop a self-driving capability that is 10 times safer than manual via massive fleet learning, and enable your car to make money for you when you aren't using it. As simple as that. Now, while the above is very nice and fine, there is one point I would like to emphasize, which is make sure everyone everywhere get to taste a cheap Tesla. Because right now, they are being overpriced all over the place everywhere where Tesla isn't officially implemented, which defeat the whole purpose. Here is an example of an overpriced Tesla Model X. This one right here is an P90D variant, fully equipped with ludicrous speed, carbon wheels, 7 seats, the updated 72 amp charger, air suspension, sub-zero weather pack, high fidelity sound, hitch package, and so on. The online website configurator claims, all in, this Model X should cost 197000 dollars 189 after quebec incentives yet it's displayed at 209,000 canadian dollars no incentive applicable anymore the main keyword for trying to justify such a price is ready for delivery 
Of course, I really hope the best for Tesla. I hope they can keep up ahead with the work they're doing. They're kind of your friendly automaker as well. They invest in treating people honestly, at least that's what I felt when speaking with people who actually experimented Tesla. I hope other car maker can be inspired or at least feel compelled to watch and learn how to treat people fairly, whether you're rich or normal. Even if poor people don't ever get a chance to drive Teslas, our world is already a better place with cleaner air to breathe. Don't worry too much about that. For instance, in China, you may be surprised to know that there are multiple affordable electric cars running the streets of China. Here are top 7 most recent electric cars produced in China. All the way from what they call Zoti, Zima, E30, which costs 5,000 US dollars and can range up to 150 km, up to the what they call Brilliance V3 EV, which is actually based on the BMW X1 first generation, costs 16,000 US dollars, range for 250 km. Brilliance is the company that brings BMW from Germany and officially sells them in China. They kind of starting making their own cars. Nonetheless, there are many make and model made in China, Japan, India, you name it. They are taking care of electrifying the fleet of cars on the street. This is good news. Maybe not for Tesla, which is soon going to be in a competition with a lot of manufacturers. Not only from China, India and Russia, but as well from Porsche, BMW, Mercedes, Lexus, Audi and so on. But even if they don't manage to compete, hypothetically saying of course, they are already winners for launching the electric car market. Because of Tesla, competition has a reason to get into the all-electric car market. Which means the world is already a better place. Big companies were always lagging because powerful manufacturers were already making good money selling petrol engines. They were not really willing to work on an expensive research and development department to implement electric motors instead of all already successful engines. Tesla has the advantage of having the privilege of building their reputation from the start. This is all already the end of part one. Let's call it an introduction to Tesla. Next, we'll officially start the Model X review by the exterior design and feature. I'll thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed. Whether you're looking to buy or to be entertained by nice car footage, I suggest you subscribe and scroll to the channel. There are many things which discusses many cars. Thank you, take care and goodbye.